Rusty Mason from Faith Academy. Coach Mason, um, question is kind of a multiple part question. You can respond. Uh, curious how many seniors you have on the team in terms of maturity and the, the kind of thing that sparked the question is I know when Malik spoke just a few minutes ago, it's a very, very mature young man for somebody just starting their senior year in high school. So I'd kind of like to get your response to all that. Yes, sir. We've got 12 total total seniors on our football team. Uh, obviously, you know, it's, it's not a over overwhelming amount number-wise, but they're in those kids is a, is a great maturity. Now, this obviously, you know, this I've been doing coaching, I guess, going into 19 years. It's probably the most mature group. Of guys uh, that I and some of the best leaders that I've that I've had a, uh, a part of, you know, a small part of. So I think uh, that goes to saying, you know, that that kind of dictates the success of your of your program. And I think, you know, for us, you know, we're counting on that leadership to help us make that jump to where we want to go next year. Certainly, Malik is a, is a huge part of that. All right, great. Um, one of the things you said you didn't you didn't get into any detail on it early before was improving the kicking game. Now, as a longtime observer of high school football, the thing that I've noticed is teams that are successful have a good kicking game right. in both aspects right. of, of kicking. So what are you guys, your comment on that, and what are you guys doing in your kicking game? Yes, sir, that's a great, great question. We, we've hired a guy, uh, well, we actually hired a guy last year that came in with us uh, who was a head coach. I worked with him about 15 years ago. He's a guy that worked in Texas. He was at Midland, Georgetown, uh, some got some small places down there. Anyway, he was our special teams coordinator. We, we worked the kicking game every day, which I know, it, you know different people range, practice schedule a little bit different. We want to work some aspect of the kicking game. We're going to punt every day. We're going to PAT every day. We're going to do those things every day. We've got a guy back at average 42 yards a punt. You know, down the stretch, he made some huge kicks for us. So we work that aspect every time we come into session in the summer. Uh, we've got a full-time special teams coordinator that's with us. And so I think for us, we realize the importance of, you know, of the kicking game. Now, we've got to, you know, translate that over and, and make improvement there. And I think down the stretch, we did that last year. But for us, it's a huge part of the game. All right, great. Um, you did mention you've changed your defense. Um, you've got a fair amount of return. Half half your defensive team, six people are back. What's that going to do? I mean, from a three four or four two five, what's that going to do to your learning curve for your defense for this season? Well, it's, it's you know I think from the standpoint again, as I mentioned, it's it's not a cure all for us. I think people say you know uh, you you switching defense is going to be you know. Part of that, you know, is, is the guys that we had over there coming back were young guys. We played five and six freshmen at times on defense last year. Uh, you know, and I think just the maturity process alone is, is going to be better. But we, we wanted to find a, a way to get more of our uh, our athletic guys, our nickel type guys on defense. So that four two five is something that we've really been playing with really since December. So you know, I think the learning curve of that is going to be uh, a lot less because we we just quite frankly we've had more time to work on. It's been a huge point of emphasis for us. So and having a full time DC force, you know, was huge. Oh, great. Um, you guys had. Uh, we, we, we talk about records in football when the end of the season's over and the mm -hmm. beginning of the next season we always talk about mm -hmm. records you guys despite your record you had scored 28 points a game That's last right. season um, how do you see that fitting in with an improvement this year? Well, you know, it's kind of crazy. It's a great question. I've been asked that a lot. You know, it, it, that's that's a lot. Of, you know, it's a lot of points in this region. You know, you score 28 points a game, you ought to be winning games. But the flip side of that is, we gave up over 40 points a game, which is, you know, is is, is astronomical. And, and you're not going to win doing that. And we certainly understand that. So, you know, the flip side is, if we just if we just get, you know, uh, you know, a little better on defense, get you know, average two or three, you know, stops a game. Uh, you know, certainly I say that uh, without being comical. You know, we just uh, we, we shot ourselves in the foot with, with, with various things, giving up explosion plays. So you would expect us with our with our guys coming back. We were young on offense last year. You would expect us to be better you know, with some improvements on defense. I really think we, we you know we we, we can uh, certainly double what we did last year. Well, that's a that's quite a challenge for the kids doubling. So looking forward to seeing some of that. Uh, one final question. Is Faith switched to AHSAA very recently? I don't remember the exact oh, year. Are you still having some impact of that change even even now in the, in your tenure as coach? Well, I think I think uh, it, it is a factor, but but honestly, you know, you see the success in other programs at our school, you know, and, and certainly with basketball, softball. 
uh, baseball certainly their, their success there so it's not an excuse I, you know you don't like to, to use that because we, we, we do have some athletes in place and, and quite frankly we just got to coach them up give ourselves an opportunity and be sound and so uh, with, with the athletes that we've got at our school and certainly you know we, I mean, obviously, we'd love to have more depth. I think if you look at our numbers or where we're at, certainly we're, we're a four-way school by, by, by and large. But uh, there's some opportunities we have. It's not a crutch for us. It, it, is, a, it is a factor. And, uh, you know, success is, is uh, believing in what you've done in the past. So, obviously, not having a past to go by is a factor. <laughs> All right, that was Coach Rusty Mason from Faith Academy. Thanks a lot, Coach.